It's the 10th anniversary of Glory, a popular MMORPG with over 130 million players worldwide. In the world of esports, one legendary player stands above the rest, Yi Chao, dubbed the Battle God. Under his leadership, the excellent era has won three consecutive championships, but his days as captain are over. The club has a new player, Sun Shang. Not only is he taking over as captain, but he's stealing one autumn leaf, Yi Chao's famous battle mage. Yi is given an ultimatum when he terminates his contract. He must publicly announce his retirement, banning him from playing at the professional level or work behind the scenes. He chooses retirement. Leaving the club headquarters, his former teammate, Miu Shang, asks him what he will do now. He tells her he will rest for a year before returning to glory. Walking past Happy Internet Cafe, Yi Xiao enters and makes his way to the assigned computer, leaving his ID at the counter. Cheng Gao, the owner, is on a 52-loss streak when Yi notices her playing Glory. Exasperated, she gets up and walks away, until someone informs her that her account is being used. Rushing back, she's surprised to find Yi Xiao has broken her losing streak in 40 seconds bragging that it would only take 30 if his hands weren't so cold. She deduces that he must be a pro. Yi Chao, the only member of the excellent era that nobody has seen in person. Snatching his ID card when the front desk worker tries to return it, she's disappointed when she reads his real name, Yi Xiao. Yi notices that they are looking to hire a night manager and asks for the job. Chen agrees, but only if he can beat her one-on-one. -on -one. Unfortunately, Yi just gave up his account card then remembers the 10th server opening that night and pulls out a first edition card. Shen is stunned that he has been playing for almost 10 years compared to her 5. She tells him that the job is his if he can pull an all-nighter with her. The server opens and Chen sees Yi reading a noob guide, explaining to her that he hasn't played the early game content in years. After some beginner stuff, Yi Xiao retrieves a silver weapon, the Myriad Manifestation Umbrella. Chen is fast asleep after he returns from washing up in the bathroom, so he decides to join a group and tackle a boss, the Midnight Phantom Cat. As the group enters the Green Forest Dungeon, the player character, Sleeping Moon, leads the party under the guise of teaching the newbies. But when the boss shows up, Sleeping Moon lets them die to keep the loot for himself. Yi Xiao catches on and refuses to heal him while the others die. Sleeping Moon tries to bargain for half of the loot, but Yi is having none of it. He wants it all. With Sleeping Moon dead, it's just Yi Xiao, Lord Grimm, versus the Midnight Cat. Chen wakes to find him landing the final blow. It's the first kill server-wide. Logging back on, Yi immediately receives a wall full of spam accusing him of attempting Sleeping Moon's scam. Ironically, the only party willing to raid dungeons is Sleeping Moon's. After another Midnight Cat kill, the party tackles Spider Cave, another first dungeon clear for the server. This gets the attention of Blue River, whose group was 10 seconds away from clearing the dungeon. They think he must be a pro playing on an alt, so Blue River tells them to start researching Lord Grimm. Sleeping Moon reluctantly makes Lord Grimm party leader as the group stumbles across a hidden boss. Then Yi Xiao gives directions to the team to CC, stunlock the boss a plan he just came up with based on the group's composition, all the while teasing Little Moon. Working together, they pull off the boss fight. Blue River and his team talk about Lord Grimm and how Sleeping Moon spammed the chat to discredit him, only to then get another first server kill with Grimm, and a third as the announcement details their latest hidden boss defeat. Yi Xiao checks his messages to find a screen full of friend invites from Blue River receiving a message right after accepting the request. Blue River explains that he is from the Blue Brook Guild and that his main is Blue Bridge Spring Snow. He asks Grimm to help with the first clear of Frost Forest, but he cannot level up fast enough, so they settle for a record time clear instead, for a price, of course. Yi asks for increasingly rare crafting materials. They have a deal. Upon waking up, Yi finds the whole cafe glued to the TV. Excellent Era is giving a press conference announcing Yi Chao's retirement to fans' dismay. Chen, in tears, accuses Yi of not caring. She still does not believe that he is Yi Chao and that he cares more than she will ever know. Yi Chao quit, but Yi Xiao is still here. Chen is still upset, refusing to believe Yi. Lord Grimm shows up at the Frost Forest dungeon, where the Blue Brook Guild members are waiting. 
Still unspecialized and still giving commands, he foregoes going over strategies and requests a complete change of party lineup, if they want to set a record time, that is. The guild members file in after him. Blue River is beginning to get mad, but he's just as confused as the rest of them. Grim proposes they pull off a one-wave rush, to the group's surprise. They think he must be joking. Grim is surrounded by mobs. It looks like the end for him, but it's just the beginning. Lord Grimm executes a Z-shake to avoid taking damage. Not even the Blue Brook Guild Master can pull that off. He starts using moves that only an unspecialized character can pull off, despite the guild members insisting that only idiots choose that playstyle. Distracted by Grimm, they do not realize the mobs are heading straight for them. When Grimm begins to give orders, the party snaps into action, doing everything he instructs. Success. They pull off a new record time for Frost Forest. 20 minutes, 24.11 seconds. Blue River, smug in his victory, gloats to the other guilds that Lord Grimm has officially joined Blue Brook, but only for the duration of the dungeon. Yi quickly leaves the first chance he gets, to Blue River's dismay. Chen gets a call from her friend Tang Rao the next day, and excitedly rushes to meet her as she arrives in town. At the cafe, Chen asks Tang to finally beat a player she can't. Tang wins the match effortlessly. Yi notices that Tang has a high APM, actions per minute. He stops dead in his tracks when Tang says she finds the game too easy. Chen makes Yi one-on-one -on -one Tang. Yi tries to make it interesting by placing a small bet. Tang obviously tastes something she's never had before, bitter defeat. Yi concedes that Tang has fast hands, but a high APM is not all there is to glory. He points out areas where Tang needs improvement joking that it will take a hundred years to get good. But Tang is not having it and cannot take a joke. She keeps betting but can't seem to win. Her pride will not let her quit. She loses more than just the matches and money. Tang asks Chen for a glory account, vowing to beat Yi, determined to regain her confidence. Receiving her own glory account card, Tang creates her first character, Soft Mist. Almost deciding to play unspecialized like Yi, Chen warns against it, since Yi uses a weapon specifically designed for his unspecialized character. Instead, she decides to play as a battle mage. Yi offers to teach her, since the guides are nine years old. He should know. He wrote them. He compromises and updates the guides. Yi overhears talk of a wild boss appearing while having a smoke, Blood Gunner Yag. The top three guilds are lying in wait to steal the boss kill, debating on teaming up when a complete novice attacks the boss solo, two party members lagging behind him. At first, he seems like a veteran, until he makes some embarrassing rookie mistakes. Lord Grimm appears, saving the noob steamed bun invasion, asking to join his party. Following Grimm's instructions, the party quickly gains traction, learning to cooperate. The cemetery ground begins to open up as a hundred zombies rise from their graves. The guild members are shocked. Grimm must have landed a 200-hit combo for the boss to go berserk. Yi Xiao tells them to ignore the guilds and run. Steamed Bun Invasion and the other noobs follow, taking the boss with them. Once they escape, Sleepy Moon and two of his fellow Full Moon Guild members show up to help. The other guilds are too slow. The system bulletin announces the first kill of Blood Gunner Yag goes to Lord Grimm and his team. Blue River sends Yi Xiao a friend request and begs him to run Frost Forest with his guild again. Turning him down, Yi mentions he has an appointment with rival guild, Tyrannical Ambition. Getting up from his computer, another announcement sounds. Excellent Dynasty holds the new record for Frost Forest. 13 minutes, 24.21 seconds. Tyranny team captain Han Wei Ching receives interesting intel from teammate Zhang Xinjia. He thinks that Yi Chao is helping Excellent Dynasty set the Frost Forest record, but Yi Xiao is putting together his own team, a brawler, battle mage, and launcher. Chen demands to know who the launcher is. Yi has just the person in mind. A live stream match airs in the cafe that night, Excellent Era versus 301 Degrees. Sun Xiang, playing as one autumn leaf, looks like he's going to win despite being one versus three. Yi says, otherwise, Excellent Era will lose the match overall. He's right. Their teamwork falls apart, and 301 degrees is about to… But the power goes out before the match results air. They later find out that 301 degrees had in fact won. 
Tang Ro and Yi Xiao are tending to the front counter of the cafe when Liu Hao and Chen Yehui enter. Hao, clearly drunk, notices Yi Xiao and starts mocking his former captain for lecturing him. Yi stands up and viciously tears down Hao, pointing out all of his failures as a player before kicking them out, referring to the sign that mentions the cafe's right to kick out drunk customers. Back on the 10th server, gathering outside a frost forest preparing for a run, an elementalist from tyrannical ambition, crowd lover, meets up with Lord Grimm, steamed bun invasion, and Tang's character Soft Mist, surprised to find the party has two noobs in it. Before entering, the launcher, Cleansing Mist, shows up to complete the party. Crowd lover can't believe how high the newbie's APM is. Things are starting to look hairy when Cleansing Mist uses Delivery Gun, a professional launcher move, which catches Crowd Lover's attention. He begins to suspect the player behind the female launcher character. He's right. In a room with a picture of Yi Xiao and two others sits Su Mu Sheng, his former teammate at Excellent Era and professional launcher player. Yi Xiao tells Mu Sheng not to use professional moves to maintain their anonymity, and Crowd Lover brushes it off. Why would Excellent Era help out Tyrannical Ambition? Close call. Directing Tang to train in the Frost Forest and Steamed Bun Invasion to focus on equipment, Yi Xiao levels up his Myriad Manifestation Umbrella in preparation. They are all set to run the Frost Forest again, successfully beating the record at 13 minutes, 5.47 seconds. But they don't hold it for long. Excellent Dynasty swoops in and beats their time. Tang is ready to set another record when Yi tells her there's no point as they've reached level 25. Liu Hao, the vice captain of Excellent Era after Yi's departure, is still angry about the other night and all of Lord Grimm's achievements. He creates a character, Hateful Sword, to spy on the group. To his dismay, Yi rejects his offer. Hao challenges him to a duel instead. Again he is denied when Yi tells him dueling steamed bun invasion would be more on his level. Hao lets him win. Hateful Sword is invited to join the group to tackle the Boneyard, where Yi Xiao lays out a new strategy to set a new record. Hao spends all day on the 10th server, forgetting his match against Huang Xiaotian that night. Unprepared, Hao has no chance of winning. Excellent Dynasty sets a new record by stealing Yi Xiao's Boneyard strategy. Messaging Yi Xiao afterwards, playing dumb, Hao is caught off guard when Yi Xiao calls him out by name knowing it was Hao the whole time. A mysterious figure lurks outside the cafe, waving at Yi Xiao, who motions to meet him in the back. When they are alone, the figure reveals himself to be Huang Xiaotian, the vice captain of Blue Rain, aka the Sword Saint. Logging on as Flowing Tree, Huang joins the group to go over the new strategy to beat the Boneyard record. They are going to trap the enemies in a cliff face, saving them precious seconds. With Huang's help and the new weapon they got from the run they did with Hao, Yi Xiao is confident they can beat the record. They join the Blue Brook Guild, getting ready for the dungeon run. Lord Grimm, Cleansing Mist, Soft Mist, Steamed Bun Invasion, and Flowing Tree set the new Boneyard record, 16 minutes, 24.67 seconds. Huang wonders why Yi Xiao retired, because of Mu Sheng. She would have terminated her contract with one and a half years left, so Yi won't return until that time is up. In a group chat, the guild leaders from Blue Brook and Tyrannical Ambition discuss the new development on the 10th server. They're confused by the surplus of anonymous expert players. The Herb Garden leader stays silent. As Yi Xiao trains with Tang, Steamed Bun Invasion, Sleepy Moon, and Seven Fields, they feel someone is watching them. Plant a go seed leader of Herb Garden. He launches an assault on the party. Not even Bao Zi, steamed bun invasion, and Soft Mist's APM can hold him off. Lord Grimm steps in and takes him by surprise, fending off their assailant. Yi Xiao figures it couldn't have been the real plant to go seed, but someone controlling his character, Wang Jia Shi, captain of Team Tiny Herb. There are five titles given to the top five characters. Battle God, King of Fighting, Sword Saint, Great Gunner, and magician, which is reserved for Wang Jiaxi, the player, not the character, because his combat style is eccentric and flexible, unpredictable. Wang Jiaxi tells Gao Yingjia to give the rest of the reserve team new account cards, instructing them to kill Lord Grimm. They set out to find him in the desolate lands. 
cloudy heavens and ashen moon rush to attack Grimm. Using Z-Shake, he evades both, causing one to hit his own teammate. Grimm juggles cloudy heavens using Vanishing Step, so he's unable to move by constantly attacking from the opponent's blind spot. Wang Jia Shi shows up with the rest of the Tiny Herb members. The captain proclaims a new training regiment, Kill the Boss, Lord Grimm, the strongest boss in glory. After seeing Lord Grimm play, the Tiny Herb captain is 80% sure the player behind the character is none other than Yi Chao. Hopefully, Yi Xiao has nine lives, because it looks like the cat is out of the bag. Tiny Herb continues its relentless assault on Lord Grimm in the days following. Finally having enough, Grimm challenges the entire Tiny Herb team to fight him at the same time. Asking if they've ever fought a true, unspecialized character before, they take the bait and all attack at once. But Yi Xiao has different plans. He evades their attacks and makes a run for it. They follow, only to see him jump off a building and log off. Soft Mist interrupts Captain Wang's pep talk, but instead of Tang's voice, they hear Yi Xiao over the mic. Yi challenges them to an arena battle. He only has one condition, they must beat Tang Rao first. Tang loses the battle with a professional player, but now more determined than ever, she refuses to give up. They make their way to the arena, where Yi Xiao makes them bet a list of rare materials on the fight. He quickly disposes of the first opponent, Gao Yinjia. Meanwhile, Cao Yifan is taking almost three minutes to beat Tang, which provokes the captain to chew him out, telling him he isn't progressing fast enough. Yi Xiao asks Cao Yifan why he plays as an assassin, suggesting that he should try playing as a ghost blade instead, since it would suit his playing style better. At the same time, Captain Wang takes Tang aside to have a conversation. She won't mention what he said to Yi. Now it's Lord Grimm versus Fiery Blaze, Wang's character. As the battle rages, Yi knocks over a pillar, which creates a ring of fire around the arena. In response, Wang switches to using ice. Their APM continues to increase as the two clash relentlessly. It's so close, no one can predict who will win. It's a draw, neither beating the other. Tang catches Yi before heading to bed and wonders what playing as a professional is like. She admits that Wang tried to recruit her, but she refused. Yi asks if she enjoys glory. If so, then it's all the same, professional or not. When Cao finds himself alone, he creates a new character, One Inch Ash, a ghost blade. The next day, a young man with long blonde hair walks into the cafe. Thinking he's a gangster, Chen almost throws him out. He asks if Lord Grimm is around, introducing himself as Steamed Bun Invasion. There are rumors spreading throughout the 10th server. The lower tier Full Moon Guild paid Lord Grimm only four Scarlet Moon pieces to set a dungeon record. All the guild leaders start bidding for Grimm's services, but Yi Xiao refuses. Fulfilling his promise, the Full Moon Guild sets a new record for the Desolate Lands. With the three major guilds' reputations on the line, Blue River goes to the Heavenly Domain to speak with the guild leader, Changing Spring. After some debate, they acquire new account cards for members in the Heavenly Domain to beat the record. After a day in the market getting gear, Yi Xiao, Tang Rao, and Steamed Bun, Bao Zi, all converge in the Desolate Lands. They sense that something is watching them. Steamed Bun runs ahead to confront them, only to be met by One Inch Ash, Cao's new Ghost Blade who happily greets Yi Xiao. Guildless characters suddenly ambush the party as the three major guilds watch from the sidelines, taking no part in the assault. The party manages to fend off their attacks, against all odds, but there's no time for celebration as Blademaster Poplar Beach launches another ambush, without success, as Yi Xiao and Steamed Bun make quick work of him. Blue Brook Guild had set a desolate lands record of 24 minutes 41.36 seconds, with Poplar Beach in the party. Changing Spring introduces himself while Yi talks about their record time, mentioning that if Blue River were there instead of Poplar Beach, their time would have been better. At the Excellent Era headquarters, Chen Yihui is determined to beat Yi Xiao after his rejection when Yi was captain. Yi Xiao tells Cao Yifan that they can beat the Desolate Lands record with his new Ghost Blade on the team. Huang Xiaotian, at Blue Rain's headquarters, is asked by a man where he can find Wu Wenzhou. Playing Chen's character, Chasing Haze, Yi Xiao accepts Poplar Beach's challenge, beating him in 39 seconds. 
Chasing Hayes' combat abilities impress Wu Wencho while he watches the battle from Blue Rain's headquarters, not knowing it's really Yi playing. The captain calls for Huang Xiaotian, who's nervous about being found out. Wu Wencho's analysis allows him to deduce the real identities of Flowing Tree, Huang Xiaotian, Hateful Sword, Liu Hao, and Lord Grimm, Yi Chao. Tang finds a guide for the Boneyard that details their strategy, written by someone calling themselves Concealed Light. Huang Xiaotian messages Yi Chao, You've been exposed. The records gave us away. The captain only had to put two and two together. Yi replies, saying, It's a shame the captain's APM is so low for a pro. Yu, reading over Huang's shoulder, challenges Yi to a duel. The captain plays as Swaxar, a warlock. Despite his superior strategy, he loses to Yi's faster hands. Yu Wenxiao notes that at level 95, an unspecialized player will lose their advantage if the cap goes that high. Reading Concealed Light's guide, Yi reckons he's a noob to glory, but he was able to piece together their strategy without being there, which he finds impressive. A hooded figure enters the cafe, asking to use the internet. It's Su Mu Shang. They log on and put the group together to avenge the apparent death of Tang's character Soft Mist. Unbeknownst to them, Steamed Bun, Cleansing Mist, One Inch Ash, and Lord Grimm all have targets on their backs. Trying to escape, Steamed Bun falls down a well, not expecting anyone to be down there, he panics when he hears a voice and hits them over the head with his brick. The stranger at the bottom of the well turns out to be Concealed Light. To Steamed Bun's surprise, he offers to help him escape. Upon getting out of the well, Concealed Light analyzes their pursuers, coming up with a strategy to effectively throw them off. The two split up and reconvene after throwing them off their trail. Yi Xiao messages Steamed Bun to check if he's okay. Curious about his new friend, he tells them to meet up in Kanji Forest. Most of their pursuers are above level 33, unlikely that they're all from the same guild. It turns out that multiple guilds combined forces to hunt down Yi Xiao and his team. Huang Xiaotian spams Yi Xiao for a duel. Instead, Yi tells him to come to Kanji Forest and help fight off their pursuers. Some of the mob break free from the pack to kill Flowing Tree until they notice he's only level 27 and there's no point in wasting time fighting him. This only riles Huang up, and he chases after them, killing a few and stealing an orange level sword. Huang tries fighting Yi, but runs out of mana as the horde approaches. Fighting them off, they both run out of mana and look to make their escape. There's an opening, but they're surrounded and can't break free. The mob starts to gloat until backup arrives. Mu Shang, Tang, Xiao, Steamed Bun and Concealed Light show up ready to help. Yi starts giving orders, until customers start showing up at the cafe, giving him their orders. The team overcomes the odds and fends off the combined effort of the guilds. Yi Xiao is confident that the guild's efforts to stop him and his team from leveling up are in vain. Huang bugs him to duel again, and after another rejection, he observes that Yi Xiao has been putting together a perfect team for Glory's professional alliance a thought that hadn't occurred to Yi until now. The wild boss of Lime Canyon appears, and Steamed Bun suggests they steal the kill from Tyrannical Ambition. The guild leader of Tyrannical Ambition, Jiang Yu, is convinced to head to the Club Tyranny's headquarters to consult the pros on what to do about the Lord Grimm situation. Unable to get an audience the next day, Jiang heads to the cafeteria to find the vice captain of Tyranny, Zhang Xinjia, sitting down. He asks for his help. After Zhang finishes his lunch, Jiang hands over a flash drive containing videos of Grimm and his team in action. Han Wenqing watches the videos with his vice captain, who offers his analysis. Lord Grimm is most likely Yi Chao. Producing account cards for the 10th server, Jian suggests they investigate. Logging on, Yi Chao sees a weapon flying right at him. With no one to help, he must face his attackers, Cold Knight and Crowd Lover, alone. To make things worse, Zhang Xinjia, a master tactician is giving the orders. They have trouble pinning Lord Grimm down. Unspecialized characters are unpredictable as it is, not to mention Yi Xiao's abilities in combination. But luck is on their side. Han Wenqing shows up to face off with Yi Xiao. The fight only confirms the captain's suspicions. Lord Grimm is Yi Chao. Han is enraged and starts hammering Yi with questions. Why did you retire? Have you forgotten the ideals we shared? Nine years ago, a battle raged in Kanji. The two top players, rivals in glory, faced off. 
one autumn leaf and desert dust, both undefeated and notorious. A short time afterwards, each signed on to different professional teams. It's the finals. Han and Yi face off in the first ever Championships of Glory's professional league. Excellent Era comes out on top. Yi Xiao beats Han Wencheng, leading his team to the top of the Glory Professional Alliance. Nearly nine years later, the two are facing off again. But this time, no one wins. The fight ends after Yi Xiao promises to return to the professional level. Han will be waiting. Back at the cafe, Chen Gao hands out her newest purchase, Yi Xiao Don's Team Happy's new uniform, ready to return to glory. Thank you for sticking around until the end. Please subscribe for more videos like this.